Hey guys, my name is Iman and in this video I'm gonna explain how to work with a MATLAB function called Ditch Filter. I developed this MATLAB function to design all types of digital filters. In order to download the function, just check out the following link and follow all the instructions. It's available on MATWORK homepage and you can download it here. But in order to save time, I already downloaded and unzipped the package. So let's see how it works. Just type help ditch filter. That's it. As you can see, there is a comprehensive explanation about this function, how it works, what are different parameters, uh, what are different inputs, what are different outputs, everything. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you some simple example. For example, the first example. This is an FIR filter, finite impulse response, and it's low pass designed using KSER method, and uh, the cutoff frequency are 100 and 200, the sampling frequency is 1000, and uh, pass band ripple is 0.25, and a stop band attenuation is 45. So as you can see, low pass filter, we are passing low frequency, and we are rejecting high frequency, the first cutoff frequency is 100 and the second cutoff frequency is 200. And this band is called transition band. Another example. Example number two. So again, okay, again, FIR filter, finite impulse response, but this time is band pass and we are using optimization approach. These are cutoff frequencies, I'm going to explain them later. And the sampling frequency again is 1000, stop band attenuation, sorry, pass band ripple, and a stop band attenuation. So as you can see, this is a band pass filter because we are passing middle frequency and we are rejecting low and high frequency. Now, as I said, these are cutoff frequency. 100 is the first one, 200 is second one, 300 and 400. So this is pass band, this is a stop band, this is a stop band, and in between is called transition band. Let's see another example. Help ditch filter example number three. So okay, this is IAR filter. CLC. So infinite uh, impulse response and it's a band stop filter and we are using elliptic approach. Again, there are four cutoff frequency. Sampling frequency is 1000. Uh, pass band ripple and stop band attenuations are the same. So as you can see, we are passing low frequency and high frequency, but we are rejecting middle frequency. That's why this filter is called band stop. And again, if you check the cutoff frequency, 100, 200, 300, 400. This is Pass band, pass band, stop band, and this is called transition band. And one more example. Example number five. Or let's go with example number four. Still see. Okay, I'm using an optimization approach, and this is IAR filter, and it's a band stop filter again. Uh, same things, but this time I'm using an optimization approach. In the previous example, I was using elliptic method, which was a closed form method. But here, I'm using optimization. That's why it's kind of time consuming. It takes time for MATLAB to converge to a, a feasible solution. Uh, so again, these are cutoff frequency, sampling frequency, pass band ripple, stop band attenuation, and that's the type of function that we use for optimization. Uh, that's the default for MATLAB, or you can use some other options. Again, you need to check out the, uh, the help if you want to uh, find out more about this function. Again, as you can see, uh, it's band stop, pass band, pass band, and stop band, and this is a transition band. That's it. Thanks a lot for working with each filter function, and... If you have any question, please send me an email. Thanks.